Hello everyone, this is Cleofe. Welcome to Crafting Shed and let's get right to it. So my latest upload is this cardigan and I always get a lot of questions from the comments section if there is a written pattern for my projects or patterns for size adjustments which I always forget to do or just don't have the time to do it. I promise that I will try to feature size adjustments in my future videos. So for today's video, I'm going to show you suggestions on how to adjust this cardigan to different sizes. So first off, the size for the tutorial that I did is I would say small medium. This is a loose fitting cardigan, so I think uh, two sizes would most likely fit. Like for example, if you're small or a medium, this project or this cardigan would likely fit you. So for the adjustments that I'm going to suggest, it would be the same, one adjustment for two sizes. So as a starting point, I indicated the dimensions here. So for the width, this measures about 21 inches, which is the white double-pointed arrow. The length is about 28 inches, which is the red double-pointed arrow. The arm opening is about a little over 9 inches, indicated with a green double-pointed arrow. And the length from arm to arm is about 32 inches, indicated with a yellow double-pointed arrow. Let me just mention that the adjustments here are just my suggestions. I didn't crochet another cardigan other than this, so the adjustments will just be my estimates. So here we go. Let's start with the adjustments on the length. My starting chain for the one that I did is 244 chains, and it resulted to a length of 55 inches. The pattern is a multiple of 6 plus 4, and for every 6 chains or 1 multiple, it measures about 1.25 inches. So if you increase your starting chain with 6 chains, which is the multiple, you will increase the length by 1 and a quarter inches. So as an example, if your starting chain would, be, would now be 250 chains, your length would most likely measure 56.25 inches. Or if you want to increase to a starting chain of 256 chains, your length would now be 57 and a half inches. And remember that we would fold this piece in half so the increase would be cut in half too. For the width adjustments, this would be the bust size. The one that I did is 33 rows and it resulted to 9 and a half inches. One pattern repeat, which is 4 rows, rows 2 to 5, measures about 1 and 3 quarters of an inch or 1.75 inches. So if you increase to 37 rows, meaning plus one pattern repeat, it would result to about 11.25 inches for one panel or 22.5 inches for two panels. And the finished project would include, which includes the band, it would be about 24.5 or 25 inches, would, which I think would fit large or XL size sizes. And if you increase two pattern repeats by same calculations, it would result to 28 inches with the finished project, which I think would fit 2XL and 3XL sizes. For the sleeves, uh, opening adjustments, we go by the shells. So for the piece that I did, there are 14 shells on the row and it measures about 19 inches. Each shell measures about 1.25 inches. So if you increase the row to 16 shells, 
So move this one right here to increase the width. Your new uh, sleeve circumference would measure to about 21.5 inches. Or if you want to decrease to 12 shells, so just move one shell here and move it here so your new circumference would be about 16 and a half inches. So one shell move here and move also adjust here, so about 16 and a half inches if you decrease to 12 shells. Another suggestion is you can go for kimono sleeves where the opening is a lot wider. You can maybe increase to 36 shells and your new circumference would be about 31 and a half or 32 inches. But it will be a for, uh, according to your preference. And lastly, to make the sleeves longer, the piece that I did is short sleeves, and although it is shortened rows, the pattern is the same, and I just did I just did three pattern repeats or 12 rows on it. And it measures about five and a half inches. If you want to make it longer, add more rows, and as I said earlier, each pattern repeat or four rows is about 1.75 inches increase so increase according to your preference the band that I crocheted around the cardigan opening it has three rows and it measures about one and a half inches in width and if you want to make it wider, so just keep adding rows on it. So it's a simple row of alternating front post double crochet and back post double crochet. So just add more rows to increase the width of the band. So I hope that covers everything in terms of adjusting the size of this cardigan. I appreciate all your comments and suggestions and I will always try my best to keep in mind to include adjustments in my future videos. And as I said in the beginning, I have not actually made this in different size, so I hope this will work out for everyone who will try to apply these adjustments. And please let me know what I need to improve on. So thank you very much and please subscribe!